Perfection is something that many people strive for. Likewise, we also strive for perfection in piezoelectric materials. Now, piezoelectrics are materials that can change their shape when you apply an electric field on them, but they can also generate electricity when you change their shape. Now, these can be used in many cool applications, such as in pacemakers. By using the movement of the beating heart to recharge the batteries that actually power the pacemaker itself, patients don't need surgery every few years just to change the batteries. However, across the $13 billion piezoelectric market, over 95% of all piezoelectrics are made with lead. And that's because they provide the best properties that we are aware of today. But obviously, lead is bad because it can lead to both cognitive and behavioral problems. And at higher doses, they can even be fatal. So we need an alternative. But the problem is that the best lead-free piezoelectrics we have are nowhere near as good as the lead-based ones we have. So what's the solution? Well, one solution is to enhance the properties of these lead-free piezoelectrics. But in order to enhance these properties, we must first understand how they work fundamentally at an atomic level, atom by atom. And this is exactly what I do. And the way I do this is I use massive particle accelerators around the world that produce powerful x-rays. I can then use these x-rays to look at the atomic structures within these materials. Now, usually, atoms in a material are perfectly ordered, just like the seats in this hall. However, what we actually find is that the atoms in lead-free piezoelectrics are completely disordered, with defects throughout the whole material. We see things like mismatching layers of atoms, atoms moving away from where they usually sit, and smaller atomic structures forced within larger ones. And these are the things that actually contribute to those properties. So now that we understand the mechanisms behind it, we can implement these and engineer new materials so that eventually we can replace lead from all piezoelectrics. So it turns out that piezoelectrics are just like people. It's the imperfections that make them interesting. Thank you.